Hello all, this video is on configuring the new Bush Plus CCTV DVR which supports up to 5 megapixel cameras. It supports old analog cameras as well as the new HD cameras. This is the XVR5004 model which is 4 channel DVR. There is also 8 channel version as well as 16 channel versions. This is 5 in 1 XVR model DVR and it supports up to 6 GB of hard disk. Mobile application for Android as well as iPhone are available. In this video we will see the 4 channel XVR, how to configure it. This supports old analog, HD as well as the new HD cameras up to 5 megapixel. First let us unbox the DVR. At the front side of the DVR you can see an USB port. Here you can connect a pen drive for downloading the recordings as well as you can connect a mouse. At the back side you can see four connectors as this is a four channel DVR. You can see four connectors for uh, connecting CCTV cameras and uh, two outputs for audio, one HDMI output, one RJ45 connector for network, another USB socket, one alarm point for uh, and DC 12 volt port and VGA ports are provided. A 12 volt 2 ampere adapter and also a mouse is provided along with this uh, DVR. You have to purchase a separate hard disk for this DVR. Uh, better go for Western Digital as it is uh, CCTV enabled. In this uh, demo we are using 1TB. Open the DVR and inside that you can see the motherboard. The main processor is provided with the heatsink and uh, for power supply there is a connector so that you can connect the uh, external DC adapter. There is a power connector for HDD hard disk and the SATA cable. Connect the SATA cable and the uh, power cable carefully and then place the hard disk on the DVR base. Align the screws and uh, fix it properly. There should be no loose connection for, for these wires otherwise uh, you will get a database error. So fix the hard disk uh, uh, in a proper way. Now close the cabinet of the DVR. You require some connectors for uh, connecting the CCTV cameras. For video, you need uh, BNC connectors like this. The BNC connector should be of uh, good quality. If you open the BNC connector cap, you can see the brass contacts. Always use uh, good quality brass connectors. The center pin is the video pin and the external pin is the ground pin. This is used for uh, video and a DC pin with wire is used for power source that is 12 volt supply for the cameras. This is the indoor camera. This is available in 1 MP, 2 MP or 5 MP versions. This is used indoors. In this demo I am using a 2 MP camera. The lens is 3.6 mm and there is also a, a outdoor version. This outdoor version is a 5 MP camera. L2 that is uh, it works up to 20 meters for uh, night vision and the lens is 3.6 mm. The body of the outdoor uh, camera is of uh, metal and uh, it is not affected by rain or uh, sunlight so you can safely use it outdoors. Each camera has got a BNC connector for video and a DC connector for uh, power source. This type of uh, BNC connectors can be connected to the video pin and the other end of the wire should go to the uh, DVR's uh, BNC connector. A 3 plus 1 CCTV cable is required for doing the connections. This uh, 3 plus 1 CCTV cable has got a pair of uh, red and black wires for DC connection and the other wire is for audio. So all DC uh, pins connections of the CCTV should be connected to a separate power supply like this. A se separate power source is required for the cameras and all DC connectors should go to the power source. For video you use the shielded cable of the 3 plus 1. 
the center pin should go to the center pin of bnc and the outer braided wire should go to the ground now provide the power source to the dvr and then switch it on connect the output of dvr to a hdmi tv and then open the initial screen uh, default user username is admin and provide the password as 12345 this is the default password and then login if you want you can modify the password the initial uh, device settings this is the first screen device settings here you can uh, uh, set the record mode as overwrite so that when the hard disk is uh, full it will overwrite automatically and uh, click on apply and then the next screen you uh, put a tick mark against the enable dhcp this is for network connections that we will see later and then click on next in the next screen you can see record motion alarm and other settings leave it as in the record mode later we'll see the motion mode the time setting is not correct now now let us see one by one right click on the screen and click on menu you can see the uh, menu settings first is playback next is the export and the third one is the hdd and then record and then camera setting configuration and maintenance and shutdown first we will see the hdd settings first we have to format the hard disk so click on hdd and put a tick mark against the uh, hard disk that is that we have connected we are using 1tb so click on that and click on format the format will be finished within seconds and then uh, click on confirm and then reboot reboot the device and then uh, login by using the uh, default password as we are not changed the password the default for password is 12345 now let us see the second one which is configuration right click on empty space of uh, screen and click menu click on configuration and uh, uh, general settings there are two settings device settings and date settings under device settings you can enable the uh, startup wizard if you want or you can disable it record mode should be overwrite the second one is the date setting here you have to set the time zone first click on GMT plus 530 for uh, India and uh, to set the date time manually click on date time manually and uh, set the current time and date the time format should be 24 hours always once the network is uh, enabled you can uh, opt for the automatic uh, time setting now click on apply now you can see the date and time has changed to current setting and the next setting is the record mode click on record here by default it is under record mode there is also motion mode to set the motion mode select the motion and then click on copy click copy and then it will go to the next screen where you have to select the cameras here we are using only the first camera so select first camera and then click on ok and apply now close this window uh, here now we have set the record mode in motion now let us see the camera mode how to configure the motion record is uh, set to motion now go to the camera mode camera configuration select motion and then select the camera now we have selected the first camera and uh, click on set area to set the area where the uh, sensing should be done suppose if you wanted the doorsteps uh, during the night time any motion unwanted motion is there you can select that area and uh, sensitivity you can keep it in middle or low and under settings you enable the buzzer alarm and then the uh, recording should be on and then click on apply now the most important setting is the time period suppose you want to uh, set the uh, timing that is the motion alarm setting during the night that is from 7 pm to 5 click on the time period 1 and set the uh, initial time that is the 7 pm as 19 and uh, the default is up to 24 hours up to midnight 
and the second time period also you have to enable and again from 00, zero up to suppose uh, early morning 5 a.m. means you have to set it to 5 so this is very important setting uh, the both the time period should be enabled and then click on apply so during night time any unwanted motion is there it will give alarm now let us see the network configuration how to do it for this you need a 4G router like this this is the latest 4G router you have to purchase it separately and uh, use a valid sim place the sim in the proper direction and then press fix it this has got a separate power adapter 12 volt adapter and a network cable should be plugged to the 4G router and the other end of the network cable should be plugged to the DVR that is the RJ45 port in the DVR backside you plug the cable first now provide the power source for the 4G router initially the red power LED will glow and once the network is uh, uh, ok you will get the blue LTE light blue LTE light indicates that the network is ok and uh, it, you are ready to go now the app mobile app used is bitvision download the bitvision and install it on your mobile mine is android mobile open the bitvision and touch on the first icon on the left hand top touch on device and uh, touch on the plus symbol at the left hand side lower corner and uh, touch on add device select ip bar ddns bar sn and then touch on the sn now under sn there is a qr code scanner that can be scanned from the dvr itself now let us see how to scan that go to the configuration and then click on network under network first one you enable the DHCP uh, next one is DDNS and email and then the P2P here you can see it is online the status is online you need not do any configuration once it's, it is connected to the 4G router it is online automatically you have to just enable the P2P and then this the third one is the QR code uh, uh, for the uh, serial number of the DVR now from the mobile you just uh, scan the QR code from within the Bitvision so the serial number will be automatically loaded into the app for device name you can provide your own device name just I am providing my DVR and under account account is admin admin and password we are not changed it is default 12345 so for safety you have to change this uh, password in the DVR which uh, we have dis uh, defined initially now click on save now the DVR configuration is saved now we'll touch on the local device now my DVR is displayed if you touch on the DVR it will display all the cameras but there is no uh, clicking box against each camera now let us see how to do it open it open the bitvision again and uh, double touch on the first ch1 box that is the on the first channel one camera double touch on it now you can see the local device select the dvr name and against each camera you can see a tick box as yes, ours is a four channel you select all the four uh, channel one two three four uh, tick mark it and then touch on done now everything is done you can see the camera we have connected camera to the first channel so you can view it on mobile now like this you can view uh, all the cameras over mobile from anywhere in the world just you have to open your uh, bitvision app on your mobile and then uh, select your dvr and select the cameras to view so this uh, mobile app is available for android as well as for the uh, iphone now let us see how to play back the recorded uh, clippings click on playback and then on the next screen you can select the date on which date you want to play back and select the cameras you want to play back and then click on ok now the clippings uh, will be displayed uh, 
noting the start time you double click on that uh, uh, wanted clippings to play back the video and if you refresh you can see all the uh, list of clip uh, clippings if you want to export the clippings to external pen drive you can do that for that go to the initial menu and then click on export connect previously connect a pen drive to the uh, back side of the uh, dvr and then select the start time end time provide the uh, select the cameras wanted cameras and then click on export thank you for watching